Alright everybody, welcome to the stream. So, today we are going to- You know what? Yo, Aldaba Studios Vlogs. How's it going, man? Yo, welcome, Aldaba Studios Vlogs. I mean, Vlogs, sorry. Alright, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a nice day, evening, or night, whichever one it is for you. And, uh, yeah, today we're going to be watching the uh, Tokyo Game Show. But first, we're going to be discussing some stuff. So, we talked about this off-screen a little bit, but, um... So, which one would you guys be most excited for today? Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil Village DLC? Because, from the looks of it, I set up a poll on the stream, and <laughs> from the looks of it, RE4 is winning by a landslide. But, uh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but we both thought that it would be more exciting to have a lot of village stuff than just like a, a five second clip of Leon kicking a banana. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. I'm more excited for the village DLC as of right now. But definitely, as it gets closer to next year, like maybe around the time village comes out, like after village comes out, maybe I'll be more excited for RE4. But, like, we literally almost know nothing about it as of right now. All we know is that Leon has his beta jacket. That's literally almost all. I know. <laughs> and it gets leaked almost every single day. Like, I'm not hating yeah. on people who make leak videos, okay? Yeah, I'm just saying. There's the fact that there are tons of, like... I get why um, Center for Evil did his video. Yeah, but that was I agree just with wanted to prove some, some idiots that thought those leaks were real, proving them like telling them that these are all just all fake. Yeah, at least but like Cracked and like, Blitz yeah. that make the videos about leaks say that they're pretty sure they're not real. They're not like, all right, guys, these leaks are hundred percent real. Like, they're not. Do like not that. take this with a grain of salt. Take this with an entire jug of salt. Yeah. But, the but I kind of agree with Center for Evil about that when people say that. It's just another exactly. way of saying they didn't do their research. <laughs> but um, the thing is, when they make videos about that, they spend so much time like editing those videos. And um, I think they should be doing something better with their time than talking about leaks that probably some like 12 year old like wrote on Twitter once. Yeah, you know? like and my most viewed video that is not a short or an AMV is how Ethan is confirmed to be in Shadows of Rose. I know it might yeah. sound a little bit clickbaity, but when you actually watch the video, I I bring up some really good points. Uh, yeah, you hopefully do. You there do. will be more areas in the RE4 where you make cuz why not? They n not cut content. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why not not cut content? That's right. a definite. I would I hope there are should, more um, areas too. I I actually enjoyed the sewer part in Resident Evil 4. That was enjoyable. Oh, but for the other games, it's like sewer. Oh, let's just get through this. Yeah, like the RE2 yeah. sewer compared to the RE4 sewer. Ooh, yeah, that was like... The oh, RE2 one. Now just I just gotta like deal bro. with this. Yeah. We do it. Really? You spent all your time working on those damn sewers. <sighs> God of War Ragnarok would have... Would be keeping me from being bored while waiting for RE4 remake. Yeah, I, I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of good things about that game, but I've never been interested in God of War. Neither have I. I've seen Dante Ravioli play it, and it looks fun. I just never was t interested enough to actually buy the game. Yeah, same. I mean, I could get it for free on PlayStation Plus, but it's like, I'm, I, why waste, like, the 40 gigabytes? What do you think of the pre-order DLC bonus for the RE8 DLC? I bought it. Me too. I got the <laughs> pre-order. But what do you think about it? I mean, I think it's a little bit, like, it, it could have been a little bit more for the pre-order, like, bonus. It but could have, but also, was, is you're, worth it. also, you're getting it for free just from doing something you would already do anyway, though. Exactly, exactly. Uh, okay, okay, Novus. 
cut that you like Capcom? What? Huh? I have no idea what he's talking about in chat. Neither do I. Alright. Oh, you know, I was thinking, when I was playing Resident Evil 4, uh, once, I was just... I was thinking, because I was in the part, you know the part where you have to shoot down the dragon thingies that are, like... You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like, the, yeah. Um, I looked at the enemies there, and they're all over the castle. But they looked like Kratos. They all looked like the... They do, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Isn't the DLC free? No, it's 20 bucks. I... Even Crack and Blitz thought that it is free. It's I mean, actually they, 20 Capcom bucks. Said that. Capcom actually said that. I know, they said they would be making a, a free DLC, so... I wonder if we're going to get another one. Wait, I wonder why they're only making one DLC for Village when 7 got like three years of DLC spread out. Hey, like, yeah. I was just going to bring that up. Like, RE, the thing about RE7 is that it had a lot of potential for DLCs. And they, they took that and they were like, okay, let's make DLCs out of this. But RE Village has way more potential. Like, way more. Uh -huh. But they're, like, spending it to have about the future? I know. What? They could have made the Shadows of Rose. That's what makes me think that they're um, gonna make the rest of the games in the present timeline just move forward and slowly get to that point over time. Because why would yeah. they make this Resident Evil 9? Anyway, exactly. The Novistador exactly. enemies in RE4, they could cut that. Uh, yeah, I don't I mean, think I only, so. The, I, they're not I like too them. annoying, but they're really iconic, though. Oh yo, what's good, Storm? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a great day, good night, or good evening, morning, whatever it is for you. Hope you're having a good one. Oh wait, there's background. The background music might be a bit loud. Oh, all right. But the thing about the Novisadors is that they had a really good unnecessary now? part of the game. Is the background good now or is it too quiet? I think it's good now. It's good now. All right, good. But um, what I was saying is that the Novisadors, I thought they were pretty good in the sewer part. When they were like crawling around, I thought that was like pretty scary in VR. But it's the part where you have to go to that big ass cave, remember? Aww. And they were all flying around. I thought that part was literally super unnecessary. Like, why have it there? It was just like, it was just adding time to the game. Nothing to the plot. And it was like unenjoyable also. I found it actually pretty enjoyable. But when I did the randomizer, I think there was just a bunch of Ganados, so it made it a lot easier. Oh, Storm says, I'm good, how are you two doing? And yeah, Audi is better. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, I got a new mic. Is it better than the one I usually use, or worse? I'm pretty yeah, sure no, it's, it's better from better. what I've studied. Yeah. No, Vista doors are bad design. You will get if you play on professional difficulty, because normal is easy. Professional, I, this yeah. is something I do not see a lot of people talking about. Professional difficulty is actually not even harder than normal. Like, I do not find any difference, except for how fast the, um, like... Yeah, oh they don't God. damage the you anymore or anything. Exactly, nothing was harder except for the QTEs being faster. Oh, the QTEs actually suck in professional. Yeah. On controller, oh, it would take them. me 30 to, 40, 30 to 40 times on controller. No, I tried it on my Nintendo Switch when I first got the game. And I could not get past the first boulder. So I used this cheat where you throw a grenade and it blows you past the part where you get into the cutscene so you can just run down. I did that. But then oh, it got to the second boulder. Might sound I, good. It nice. literally took me two hours and I could not do it. Uh -huh. but I was able to do it, but I was it took me like an hour and a half. Uh, yeah. The first time I played, that is. I'm kind of used to it now. 
Yeah, I'm used to it now also. Oh, Storm says, yeah, the Switch QTEs are super hard on the Switch. You gotta hope you get Z, R, and Z, L. Mm. The QTE. Yeah, oh, the yeah. When you yeah, miss the triggers for the QTE and you have to try for three hours. Yeah. Once I actually, um, on professional mode, I got to the end. But the Nintendo Switch controls are so weird when it comes to QTEs. I ended up missing, messing that up. And I cried for like a minute. Yeah, I never completed a professional on um, Switch. But on VR, you just have to wave your hands, so that was easy. Uh, yeah. Walter White Heisenberg. Yeah, he's making a video about Walter White, didn't you know? <laughs> but still, oh, yeah. the fading Resident and layoff. Uh, right yeah. I think Resident of Evil is overrated. JJ has literally the worst takes ever. JJ has the worst takes ever. What do you mean? Nah. Like, bro, on, on Twitter, he tweeted, um, you know what, like, everybody won't admit it, but Resident Evil Zero actually sucked. And then everybody in the comments was like, L take, L take, L take. Everybody loves it. But he just assumed that everyone hated it because he hated it. And now, I mean, he can state his opinion, but he can't say that everybody hates the game. Because I, I, a lot of people- I love it. Zero. Yeah, exactly. And he can't just say everybody hates it. It was actually even the first game that I ever played. Oh. Residents of Evil is overrated, Aldaba says. Yeah, it is. Super he, They are super yeah, Guys, Let's go. 15 seconds. 15 let's seconds, do it. Guys. Let's do it, guys. Hype. I'm going to count down. 10, 9, right. 8, 5 seven, seconds. 6, 5, Two, 4, one. It three. started. Oh, wait, you have... Shit, well, bro. It's starting now. Alright, let's go. Capcom. Oh, let's let's do it, guys. Let's go. I might like have a one second delay of the thing, so So I'm not gonna say stuff if as I soon react, as I a see. Delay. Yeah, don't say uh, exactly. Monster. But when Wait. once you hear me react, then you go. It's just a summer. Village Gold Edition's gonna be here. Let's go. It said it. Winter's expansion's here. Let's go. Right, that's the only cool thing I've seen. We so better far. see more th three third person gameplay, or I'm gonna freak out. Um, remember when they leaked third person mode at the Game Awards last year? Yeah, that that's because I was like, wait a minute. I hate when they they accidentally, accidentally just showed it. I think Exo Primer Exo Primal doesn't seem that interesting, and I lost my AirPods. Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. Oh baby, it's time. All right, guys. Let's it's go. fine. Yep. News from the Resident Evil series. Let's get it. Shh. Hello, everyone. Wait, what are, are you watching on IGN? No, I'm watching on Capcom's official channel in the U.S. Oh, that's why it's slower. Capcom. They haven't gotten into anything. Just him talking about it. Selling 6.5 million copies worldwide. Oh, it's about to get into it. He said, thank you so much. Quick year. Let's go, let's go. He's talking about... Oh, let's go. He's showing some footage now. Are you here? But I can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa. We've already seen this. Show us new stuff. That's pretty cool. They're showing a little bit of third person mode. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait. Are they going to show his face? Are they going to show the boy Ethan with his face? Yep. 6.5 copies sold. 6.5 million copies sold, I mean. Oh, let's go, let's go. They're feeling Resident Evil stuff. This looks like so cool. The Resident Evil Village third person mode. This is fire. <laughs> it does look slightly weird in third person, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna fix all these weird bugs. Yeah. New story called Shadows of Rose, alright. Alright. Oh, 
Yes, new gameplay? Looks a little bit more horror. Let's go. たった一度のダメージが命取りになります。おっと。決められた力に悩むローズ。しかし、この世界ではその力が大きな。Ooh, ね。ウェブのコンテンツは、おう、ウィガオ、ウェブのゲームプレイが楽しめる。ザ・マーセナリーズに追加ステージ。追加プレイヤブルキャラクターが参戦し、さらに重厚なプレイボリュームのゲーム
Yeah. We have some more Resident Evil 4 updates for you. Next, Damn it, that's next so month, so there's gonna be a Resident Evil showcase. But wow. Wow. No, they're gonna have to cut down on stuff. Shit. Wow, there's gonna be nothing else Resident Evil here. But they are having a Resident Evil showcase next month. They are? Yeah. Oh, it says that now. Axel Primal. Do we even watch the rest of it since Resident Evil's already done? This was literally the, the Resident Evil part of the show, okay? Today, we wanted to tell you that we've been working on the game that we said we're working on. That's literally That's what it, it was. <laughs> they didn't give us anything new. Like, when they said Resident Evil, I was thinking, should I edit the Heisenberg video and release it, or should I just get a video about this done? And then I was like, oh wait, there's nothing to cover. Because, you know, they didn't reveal anything. Well, they did reveal yeah. a little bit. Like, they revealed a light more bit of gameplay for the Village DLC, yeah. but like... That was cool. But nothing else. Literally nothing on RE4 Remake. This was the RE4 yeah. Remake thing, he said. All Plus, right, guys. The, the thing about PS4 is li a, just a little bit devastating. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you why after this trailer. He said RE4 remake is in development, guys. Back to nice. That's literally all he said. And he's like, "All right, you'll Resident have to Evil learn more next month." Is in the works. <laughs> like, bro, we already knew that. I actually <laughs> like Exo Primal. I don't know anything about it. Wait, I forgot. Konami is having their own part of the TGS later today. Oh wait, they are? Konami? Let's go. I, I might be there. <clears throat> if it's not too late, then I can join you. 21 hours. No, it is not near. Oh, it's tomorrow. That'd mean, right? Yeah, tomorrow. But it'd be at like 6 or 5 a.m. I'm not gonna stream that. And it, I'm gonna be in school, so... Everybody left because <laughs> the Capcom showcase is just trash from here on out. Yeah. Given gameplay on it, and it's been development for over four years. That's just a totally yep. different thing. But I, I said I was going to explain why PS4 is a bad idea. Now, remember Resident Evil 8? And they said they were working on it for um, PS4 also. Yeah. Capcom said that they had to cut half of the ideas they had because of the limitations of PS4. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. REA would have been way longer. Wow. Well, I first played it on PS4. Because it's before I got my PC. Alright, come on. Nobody cares about this. Literally everybody. No one cares. Well, I guess some people might, but like... Like, more people, people in their chat. See, more people would want to see Resident Evil. Oh, wait. Al Daba is not leaving. He's just Storm who's leaving. It didn't even have to. Oh yeah, yeah. They didn't even strong. have to do the Resident Evil thing at all. I know, Cap. Oh, I do not care about that. I can make my armor red and that I can do the gritty in this game. Like actually, legitimately, nobody cares. And I know exactly. it's. I know damn well it's not as many people that care about Resident Evil, considering this game is still a year from coming out, and there's no release date for it. It's just yeah. sometime next year. Exactly. I know. Capcom will probably next month at the Resident Evil showcase. This is what they're gonna be like. All right, guys. All these games are in development. You'll have to wait till the Game Awards to see more about Resident Evil 4. I'm sorry, guys. That's literally yeah, what they're gonna be. Next year. I know. Yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna stop on to Resident Evil and see what they're saying. They're literally just quiet. They're not even talking. That's why the God of War trailer is the only thing making it Aldeva not rage right now. I'm gonna go back to when uh, we had Resident Evil news to, to see what they thought. 
通信機能に変わりますそうそう安心してください今でも僕らはつながっている各シリーズオンラインでの通信対戦やチップトレードなどの通信機能を現在制作中です Why couldn't they dub it? Like, exactly, they did that for the Capcom showcase. Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。Hey,four皮皮。